Ooh, let's rip some fucking stocks. Hi, Mark. Uh, I'm Robert, your financial advisor. It's nice to meet you. Bob, good to meet you, brother. Please get your feet off the desk. Oh, my bad, man. And call me Robert. Yeah, whatever you say, Bob. Did you walk all the way here without shoes? Yeah, it was kind of a rough week for me last week. I had to give my shoes to my bookie. Mark, what do you know about investing? It's funny you ask, Bob. I'm actually on something of a hot streak with some of my investments. Um, 10 out of my last 12 bets, even though three of the 10 were pushes. So I'm actually down like 350 in the last week, but it's seriously not that deep. Like this is the TD Ameritrade app? Word, so like this is the book? Are you the bookie, dude? Okay, let's get you set up with an account. Are we gonna be transferring the money from your checkings or savings? Can we just go ahead and grab that right out of my FanDuel account? All right, so if you search on the TD Ameritrade app, you can find any stock in the world that you would want. Are there any you had in mind? I was thinking I was probably gonna rip Apple and Tesla. Those are two very expensive stocks. What are you doing? $200. Cash. That's simply not going to get you those stocks. Even if I parlay the two? Yeah, what's the over-under on Microsoft? Does this thing have any odds boost? Dude, I bet you two shares of pen, there's no chance you can guess my body count. I'm trying to take Elon Musk's over for tweets today. Yo, one of these just went up like three bucks. Can I cash out? Well, no, the point is to wait and watch them appreciate over time. What, how much time, like an hour? Well, some people keep their stocks for over 40 years. This is the worst fucking bet I ever made. 